Randy's Random Rants. That's what I've done. So you played no contest? Yes, sir. And you played the same way? No, sir. They never offered me that. And what did you get? They um had me terminate my rights because my lawyer convinced me that it was the best decision that day for my two oldest kids because he said they would have took me to trial that day. How long ago was this that you terminated your rights? It's been about a month now. Well, how old are you and you're and married to that old last man? Yes, now we're getting a little clear picture why your children were taken. This is what's best for your kids, terminate your rights. Well, he said it was best for me at the time because that way they could use nothing against me. Against you for what? In criminal court. They could. They were lying on us and they couldn't So they basically them. said, give your kids away and we won't charge you. And you said, okay. That's what my lawyer said was the best decision. Well, what was in your heart? They took it you back. Not, not, no, she's a big girl. If it would have been me, I would have terminated my rights. What well, was you? It was you. What do you mean if it wasn't me? It, it was I mean, I mean, if it was, if he would have given me the decision to, he pretty much forced me into No, the they gave you a choice. Why did he force you? They took advantage of her, Steve. She can speak, right? She's You're taking advantage of her. You can tell yeah. she's slow, bro. Me into that shit is fucked her. up. Because he said um, that they couldn't use anything against me if I... Yeah, right? Well, but if you fe if okay, you wasn't guilty... You're giving your kids away forever? You wouldn't so be I giving your kids up. If you wasn't guilty, you would be like, nah, like, I'm not fucking giving up. Like, you could take me to court. No, you giving them up so you can't be charged. No, you're guilty, bro. No, sir. Never sexually abused them. No, sir. So you never did anything wrong and you gave your kids away. Are you telling me that's what happened? Yes, sir. Well, he said... No, my wife said... was saying something about you. Wow. Being yeah. That shit yeah. is so fucking Corps. sad, man. So, what did they teach you in the Marine Corps? You deserve as a Marine too. Yes, sir. I know you are. So, we, they told us never to give up, right? Yes, sir. You never give up. Yet. That's the reason we're here now. Right. So, but she didn't do that. Well, see, I didn't know about it. I didn't know anything about this. You didn't think to confer with your father about whether to give your kids away? They wouldn't let us. Now, you're still under uh, facing charges, right? Yes, sir. And I'm out on a $50,000 bond. And, and, and what <laughs> charges are you both facing now? Criminal sexual conduct with a minor under 11 years old. And is this of the kids that Dumb. were already taken away? Yes, sir. Okay. Because now, you met a guy and you had another child. Yes, sir. And that child, they came in and they took that child as soon as you gave birth. Yes, sir. Why'd they do that? Because of the... Sexual allegations coming up. They um had a whole year and they didn't come up with anything until a year later when I had my youngest. How much time are you facing? Um. And they have no evidence. They they're saying they are, and my my past lawyer. Did. What what evidence? Are, who's saying what? Who's saying this to you? The social workers and they're saying, saying that they and have, the social workers say what do they have against you um cat interviews of my kids saying that but my past lawyer that i had she saw the cat interviews and she saw that somebody was talking to them into saying it they're saying being this, coerced or coached yes or, sir because okay. she said she saw somebody so, right and so she so. didn't she didn't think enough to tell your lawyer or your lawyer this is your lawyer telling you this and your lawyer Believed that somebody was coaching your children, but he still told you to plead guilty. This is a different lawyer. They took her off of my case when this happened. You're telling me you keep having kids and they keep getting taken away, and you've done nothing wrong, and you might never see them again. Yes. We, have, we haven't seen them in three years. Did you sleep with the girls in bed when they were staying with you? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yes, sir, I did. Oh, God. You feel uncomfortable? No, sir, not at all. These are my grandbabies. I never thought about them as anything. Did you ever sleep in bed with your daughter? Yes, sir, I did. When she was a baby, not as her grown. Oh, that's his daughter, that's not... Time. Okay. Oh, well, oh, yeah. Before I get through time, don't say a word. Have you ever before been accused of a sex crime? Yes, sir, I have. By who? <clears throat> when Christy was uh, eight years old, 
a member, family member accused me of sexually abusing Christy, and I carried it to family court, and it just come up unfounded. So. Have you ever been accused of a sex crime? No. Okay. But time. you were accused of a sex crime? Yes, sir. The lie detector test, and this is concerning sexual abuse. my line of questioning here? No, sir, I don't, but um, it's so much easier to make a rational decision when you're on the outside looking in as opposed to sure. in the actual situation. Are you, but you're a father, right? Yes, sir. You have one child with her. Yes, sir, Do you I have do. any other children? No, sir. Okay, so that was your first. Yes, sir, it was. You're a 41-year-old man. You have one baby. It's got to be exciting in your life, right? What'd yes, you sir. have, a little boy, little girl? Yes, sir. What'd you have? We had a girl. Little girl. Yes, you sir. had to be over the moon, right? Yes, sir. Fell in love instantly. And, and instantly they took that baby away? Yes, sir. Right from the hospital. And right. I, I know, I know Christy over the last three years, and I can tell you, Steve, there is no way under God's green earth I spend every waking wo moment with this woman. I know that her was. more than anybody. Well, you gotta, you got a, you've got a juicy mouth, like a, a the kind of mouth that a freaking, uh, a creep like has. Like criminal yes, sir. Um, uh, child abuse? Yes, sir. Sexual gratification, you answered no. Did you allow your father to sexually molest your daughters? You answered no. And the results came back the same to each question. And it came back that you, Christy, concerning sexual abuse, told the truth. Okay, that's good. I'm very happy. Word. Very, very happy for you, Cindy. Now, Bill took a lie detector test. Now, we know that you didn't allow him to do it. What if he did it behind your back? I would be mad as hell. Be mad as hell. But there'd be nothing for you to do to get your kids back because you gave them away already. Would you have a relationship with your father? No. We asked Bill, have you ever touched your granddaughter for your own sexual gratification? He answered no. He told the truth. Wow. Five. Always faithful. That was for sexual abuse. Now we're doing line detective tests concerning physical abuse, right? And Bill, you took one and we asked you, did you ever strike, punch, kick, hit, slap, strike with an object? Strike against an object. Wow, that's a bad one there. Strike against object, any of your grandchildren leaving marks or bruises. You answered no. Prior to the day where the school became involved, did you cause any of those bruises to your granddaughter's back? You answered no, and the results to those two questions came back that you did not tell the truth. You did not tell the truth. How can that be? Because you lied. That's how it could be. And Bill... You really don't have a leg to stand on because you just said we have the best life type test in the country, which we do. And you passed for not sexually assaulting these children, but you failed for striking. And, and then the one that really deserves me, you took the child and struck it against an object. Um, what? What is going on here? Your dad physically abused these kids. Wow. So now he. So he probably you. did Why molest you too, away? girl. You're was physically abusing them. Don't look confused. That's why your kids aren't there. Because the Marine, who's supposed to defend and fight for people weaker than himself, beat up two little kids. That's, that's a lie, Steve. That's a lie. That's the reason we come here. Do you think I would have come here if I would have been telling a lie? If we didn't have anybody come and wouldn't ride, we'd have no guests, Bill. Uh, now, we're doing yours as far as physical abuse, and I'm, I'm really anxious to see what these say. And we asked you the same questions as we asked him. Did you ever strike? Punch, kick, hit, slap, strike with an object, strike against an object, any of your children leaving marks or bruises. You answered no. Did you 
cause any of the bruises on your daughter when she was taken out of your custody? You answered no. And the results for your lie detector test is that you did not tell the truth. Whoa. This is a woman. She said it was the best three seconds of her life. Accused of abuse by their own family. I'm not a child molester. She said her sister smothered the kids with the pillow and said it was the best 30 seconds of her life, three minutes of her life. And one tape. You made a recording. Could change everything. This might be the worst piece of tape you've ever had on your show. Tomorrow, and what's next in this historic process? And the flu season is especially bad this year. So, what's the cause? Plus, uh, protect yourself from Tamsin Fidel. What's the cause? Yeah. Them yeah. giving you fucking flu shots, motherfucker. Go take your kid for some flu uh, shots so they can fucking infect your whole family your and the school. <laughs> Slanting, bruising all over. Your kids get taken away. Maybe there was a reason, right? No, sir. No, no. no. You're just going to stick with that defense? Yes, sir. So a lawyer tells you to take a bad deal and you say, okay? Your children, they're taking your children away forever. And you're going along with that deal. Yeah. No matter what happens. For real. Get those two kids no, no matter what. Like, it, it's... It, and it's, now, the two of you are still... You're, you're guilty of fucking sex. abandoning your damn children, if anything. Now, you both passed this lot of type of us, So I'd say you got something going for you. But, you... Listen, you already got one of the worst sentences that you can be given. And you, and, and you gave it to yourself. Your kids... Your kids got taken away, and not even taken away, you gave them away. And you don't know you where they're at, what the fuck, the is, what's happening to them. I'm sure you did it, did you? Okay. But it's a movie about a mother making a decision. She has to give one of her kids away. And the rest of her life, she screwed up in her mind because she had to give one of her kids away to the Nazis. And you just gave them both away. And not even to save your own life. Stay. No, I'm done with you. In fact, you get the <laughs> place in. A Marine telling another Marine, kiss my ass, Marine. Tell him, Steve. There's not why I'm going to get up on my soapbox right now. Because, you know what? We all make mistakes. Hey, God forbid. I made my mistakes. That's public record all over the place. But a fight for your own kids? I, like I told you, I would rather go spend the rest of my life in prison than let somebody take my kids away. I would fight, I would kill, I would do anything I had. To protect my kids. Uh oh, you're incriminating you yourself, you Steve. They're gonna you come after you. Deeper. You're gonna you kill somebody? Forever. They're coming after you after the show, Steve. And then. CIA, the FBI. We heard what you said, Steve. He has you're a, baby a killer. For the first time in his life, first child, beautiful little girl. You're a murderer. And because of your actions, he doesn't go to. That's right. Child. And you are a freaking murderer. And with that. No, nah, Steve's not a murderer. Get the hell off my stage. Brat! Do that shit, Steve. Steve should have did that shit. Like, what? Brat! That's right. This is Stevie Wilkie's.